Welcome back everybody. It's race 8 of the uh, International Racing Series GT4 Championship. We're here at Fuji today. Week 8, the championship is uh, shaping up nicely. Uh, if you want to check on the standings, uh, check us out at gtplanet.net in the uh, Gran Turismo Sport weekly race forums. In the meantime, let's uh, let's run through the uh, the starting order here. In pole position for the third consecutive week, we have R1600 Turbo. Uh, he and Tim Lore, clearly the faster fastest racers in the series. Um, both both are at the full five percent. Um, Success ballast, so the cars are very heavy. Be interesting to see how this battle shakes shakes out. But uh, turbo in first, uh, second position starting Tim Lore. In third, Mo Power. Uh, to my recollection, his highest starting position. Fourth, Gentleman Racing, with only one percent ballast. Fifth, Kanita. Kanita. The first of the Pro-Ams with a strong showing all the way up in fifth, uh, ahead of even some uh, Pro contenders. Uh, a new a new combatant to the fray here, Desert Penguin. Not really a new driver. Uh, unfortunately, Penguin missed pretty much the entire season up to this point due to a an injury. And so it's his first week racing. Be interesting to see how he gets along, obviously not carrying any success ballast. And driving uh, the Hyundai. Nicely representing the Hyundai. In seventh, Whitey. Whitey, the racing team has uh, has had some issues with the pedal setup in that car. They're battling that situation, but they're looking to make a strong showing today. Ace Boy coming off a strong second place finish in the rain at Red Bull Ring. Back in eighth. In uh, ninth, we have Race Fan, the second of the Pro Ams, and tenth, Led, Led the Iron, a Pro languishing back here. Moby 45. In eleventh, another Pro, and the last Pro Am is Willow. So, as you can see, the uh, the Pro Am. Well, if you check in the standings, the Pro Am battle is between Willow and Kanita, and it's down to two points. All right, we're going to have the field uh, tightening up here nicely. Uh, cars trying to get their last second weave on, which is actually a violation. No weaving in the final sector. Have to go over that rule with the guys again. Up, oh, and they're off. Oof, I did it again. Let's get the uh, let's get through turn one and then we'll get the uh, we'll get the cameras squ squared away. Whoa! Tim Law with a lurid slide. Oh, some strange lagging going on with turbo. Those were not tactics. Let's get the race info up. got Turbo in the lead, taking full advantage of that pole position. Tim Lohr in hot pursuit. Turn to Racing having moved up one position to third, and it looks like uh, oh, it looks like Tim Lohr got a little loose there, coming under acceleration, coming out of turn one, and had some contact with Mo Power, who's now nursing some damage. And it looks like that's going to put him in the clutches of this See four potentially five car battle for fourth. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Tough for uh, Mo Power. He's got one, two, three, four cars in hot pursuit. Let's go through the rest of the field for the moment. Desert Penguin in fifth, the newcomer. 
down to six, getting passed by Whitey, who slipped into the, the slipstream of Mo Power. Now Ace Boy at six, going in the inside. Wow, this is, it's intense, but it's clean, clean racing. Now we've got Ace Boy up in fifth for the moment. Whitey at sixth, seventh, we've got Moby. Desert Penguin's been shuffled back to eighth. Ninth is uh, Race Fan. Tenth, Led the Iron. Eleventh, Willow. And now Kanita must have had an off. Kanita, having started in fifth, is back to twelfth. He's got he's got scrapes, bumps, bruises on the car. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh man, uh, that'll keep it interesting though, because he's he's got to catch up with uh, Willow. Let's get back up to fourth. Sorry, not third, fourth. Mopar holding his own even with the damage. That car's probably very formidable on the uh, on the front straight. It's just with the damage and you know the natural inclination of this car. The handling's got to be it's got to be a tough tough situation. Interesting because Ace Boy's carrying the two percent success ballast. After finishing, no, is it 2%? Yes, he's carrying 2% at least after finishing second. You have to wonder what, what could have been. It looks like the lead trio is slowly inching away, and there is Ace Boy on the inside to turn one. We're going to see a lot of that, I think. We're going to see a lot of inside moves into turn one. Which is practically a hairpin. Yep, here it comes. This is a 20, 29 laps. Uh, I think it's going to be 29 laps of these guys battling for that fourth position. And now Ace Boy up into fourth, getting by Mo Power, who's in serious danger of getting overtaken by Whitey, Moby, and even Penguin, even though he's a little bit further back. Oh, when Whitey makes a move on Mo Power to the inside, but now he's on the outside. Will he stay with it? Oh, a little argy bargy. Getting onto the rumble strip. I'll tell you, some of that could be attributed to the handling on that Mustang. Gotta be careful getting alongside him. He may, uh, may inadvertently make contact. Ace Boy trying to get away from this pack here. This is an impressive, an impressive fourth place by Ace Boy. That Mercedes proving to be a, a strong. Oh, it's, it's too much action, people. Too much. He had just had a Desert Penguin dive on the inside of Mo Power. Now Moby's by Mo Power. Mo Power's just dropping positions going into lap five a ways to go before he can pit oh and he goes to the inside of Moby doesn't work out Moby was able to carry more speed let's go on board with Mo Power See how he's how he's managing this this damage he's carrying.
Yeah, they've opened up quite a gap. That pack of four cars, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh of Moby going inside, trying to go inside, takes a look on Penguin, you see it there. Then they go through that left hand kink. One, two, three, four. Low power. It looks like he's going to have to nurse this car to the first pit. Let's go to the cam and see uh, this battle between Ace Boy and Whitey. We can see it from uh, Low Power's cockpit. But yeah, uh, we need a first hand look at this. And there, there goes Whitey inside. Oh, they both make it through. And it has to be said that the driving that we've seen here in the past eight weeks, very few incidents, n nothing, no one ever driving overly aggressive in an intentional fashion. Just really good driving by all these drivers and even some of the, you know, the, the latecomers and newcomers driving really, really well. So hats off to them for uh, really making the series. Looks like Whitey. Looks like Whitey is starting to come to terms with the pedal box in that GT4 Corvette. Really managing the the traffic well. You know, it's not easy running. Anything can happen in these tight packs. Takes a nice line through turn one. So he's got to run on Ace Boy now. in terms of fuel and tire condition. Look at Moby carrying all that speed through that section as well. He's got to do it here and stay with these guys. Because once uh, they get onto that front straight, which is, it's got to be a mile long at least. Oh, and he goes inside. Very aggressive in the in the uh, second, third sectors here because that's where that that's where that Porsche shines. And we'll see. Oh, Whitey takes a peek inside. Desert Penguin giving uh, Whitey a little love tap there. Oh, here we go. Oh, you'll see the power difference. Whitey, last of the late breakers. Got that pedal box working. He's got it working good. He's adapting. And it's just the action here is super intense. It's kind of calmed down a little bit with Ace Boy kind of opening up a gap. <laughs> Nevertheless, we'll have to break away from this and just get a get a status check on the leaders. We got Turbo firmly in the lead. Tim Lauren second. Gentlemen racing. Trying to hang tight. Tim Lauren gets a little uh wide to that turn there. And about a three second gap from Gentleman Racing back to Ace Boy, who's holding down fourth for the meantime. 
He's got Moby in hot pursuit. And then we've got, uh, we've got Whitey being pursued by Desert Penguin. And so what we have to take into account here is this whole pack here from Ace Boy, Moby, Whitey, Desert Penguin, Mo Power. None of them, if they finish in these positions, they're not in a position where they're going to have any success ballast applied for the following race. So if anything, a couple of them are going to have some of the ballast that they're carrying presently removed. Uh, Ace Boy, namely, will go from uh, two percent total ballast that he's carrying right now down to um, one percent. So he's going to shed some weight. He's going to shed some weight if he can hold on to this position. Uh, Moby, we think, is back to the standard uh, Gran Turismo Sport BOP that's applied to the Group Four cars. So he's going to. He's going to be in a similar condition. Um, Whitey's going to... I believe Whitey's carrying some ballast, so he's going to lose 1%. So basically what I'm trying to uh, describe to you here is that next week at the, uh, at the next event, these guys most likely are going to be battling like this again not, not most likely most definitely and it should be noted that the the next the next track on the schedule wait for it wait for it Suzuka the Grand Prix circuit so wow what a what a great scenario to look forward to again that's assuming uh, things finish in an order similar to what they are which it's looking like turbo for the third consecutive race is just running away the class of the field tim lore is not not to be overlooked also class act in the field in terms of performance gentleman racing probably to his chagrin will be gaining one percent if he holds on to the last podium spot so he may get pushed back into the clutches of this pack back here uh, headed by ace boy at the moment who's got he's got moby closing in on him but so gentlemen racing maybe at suzuka may get pushed back into the clutches of the rest of this pack here which is going to make for an amazing event at suzuka look at moby Let's go on board. Moby's tires are looking pretty fresh. Ooh. A little bump drafting. He wants to get away from the rest of the pack. Interesting. Interesting, Moby. Will he make the move inside? Let's see. No, he tucks back in. He's like, uh, he's like, come on, Ace, let's get away. Let's get away from Whitey and Desert Penguin. That's nothing to do with them. Right there. Whitey could practically reach out and touch the back bumper. They're always right there, aren't they? Never close enough. Well, at least for me. Moby dives inside. Moby showing some real, real strength here. Take a look at the tires. 
Whitey's got a decent amount of wear. Ace Boy's got a decent amount of wear. Nothing crazy for either one. Uh, and Moby ever so slightly better on the tires, particularly the rears, which really gives him a nice launch out of the corners. He needs that being down about 30, 35 horsepower, depending on who's who's chasing him. That Corvette we know has got upwards of close to 400. I believe the Mercedes does as well. Oh, and he runs nice and clean. Penguin alongside uh, Desert Penguin alongside Whitey. They get through there too wide. Oh, but Penguin gets a half second penalty. I'll tell you, when you're running in a pack this tight, that can hurt. He's gonna have to make up for it in the pit stops. It's a little ghosted, gets, two, gets rid of two tenths there. I really wish the game wouldn't do that, but uh, it looks so ugly when they ghost. And yes, the settings are, uh, ghosting is off, so it still happens. Whitey. So the equipment issue, the pedal box in that race car, maybe hampering him a little bit. We're not used to seeing uh, Whitey back here in seventh, but, you know, he got an X factor here of Desert Penguin, who is now up with but Ace Boy, who lost fourth to uh, Moby, and Moby's like, yes, guys, go at it. Please, have at it. He's opened up probably about a three-tenths of a second gap to Desert Penguin. Let's see. Let's see what uh, Ace Boy goes defensive. Oh, and goes back out. Feels comfortable. Oh, will Desert Penguin take a dive? Nope, he goes... got rid of that penalty. Ace Boy shaking his tail at uh, the Penguin there. Moby runs wide left-hander gathers it up and keeps it some of that momentum but now he's got ace boy back on his tail doing some lawn work yard work there Moby getting out into the grass DP will uh, ace boy uh oh nope Thought maybe Ace Boy was going to take a look inside there. And it has to be said that that final, this final turn here at Fuji can be a trouble spot oftentimes because the line isn't always so obvious there. It's probably the worst turn for that. People, I've seen some really inventive lines in sport mode and in various other events uh, I think the traditional entry into that final turn is extremely wide and then cutting it back but you see people uh, thinking that the doors open at that turn and trying to stick their nose inside and sometimes that ends in tears but these guys know know their uh, know their stuff here I haven't seen a single situation where that's that issues cropped up so Ace Boy back up and forth. Moby. Ace Boy's tires are oof, starting to show signs of wear. Severe. Well, Moby's uh, a bit better, but he's got he's got to worry about Desert Penguin. Ace Boy runs wide this time. Can Moby capitalize on that? I think he does. And so does Desert Penguin. Now Ace Boy shuffled back to six. 
back into the clutches of uh, Whitey. Let's take a look at the leaders. We haven't been with them for a while. It's tough to break away from this because we're getting close to pit stop time. Turbo still in the lead. Tim Lore looking to pit. Tim Lore pits on lap 14. Will he come out ahead of that pack? Oof, just getting his tires. Moby pits, Whitey pits. Led the iron pitting. Ace Boy electing to stay out somehow. Desert Penguin got ahead of him. Mo power, so. Not too bad. Tim Lord comes out. He's not really in traffic. He's got Mo power, uh, Ace Boy, and Desert Penguin ahead of him. And it looks like there's a decent enough gap to that group of cars ahead of him that he may not be uh, too severely impacted in terms of his pace. Although we know that uh, Mo Power is still carrying that damage. Probably should bring her in now. Uh, it's really unfortunate. Uh, it would have been nice to see Mo Power mixing it up. He, I would think he would have at least been. Oh, and he runs wide there. I would have think that he would have at least have made it up into that pack, battling for fourth position there and mixing it up. Um, we know we know that he pushes that Mustang to the limit. Had some, had some incidents earlier in the season. Really worked hard on his race craft and cleaned it up uh, nicely and has been driving well ever since with some good, strong finishes. Uh, even up on the podium. Uh, at least once. Well, he elects to stay out. And Timur is closing in. So... Might this affect Timur's run to try to uh, keep second because we've got... Gentleman Racing staying out. Really not putting in the kinds of laps that he needs to, given that he's low on fuel, but the tires are just not not what he needs right now. Oh, he kind of kind of cut that corner tight there. Did he pick up another penalty? It's got to burn off that. I mean, it's minuscule, the penalty he's carrying now, but he's got to Got to go into the pits with no penalty whatsoever. Should probably uh, bring her in now. Although it, it looks like he wants to run that fuel tank empty. Turbo stays out for yet another lap. It's got plenty of fuel. Really just uh, what he's pulling off with this car here is uh, truly amazing. Turbo's commented that he's really, uh, really enjoying driving this car in the series. Uh, so much so that he may, uh, may elect to go with, uh, well, he says he will elect to go with Aston Martin in uh, sport mode races and the uh, manufacturers. Uh, not a lot of these drivers here participate in that stuff, but Turbo is definitely one of them, so we wish him luck. Wish him luck in uh, his endeavors in sport mode and the official races, and I'd love to see him uh, take that car and, uh, and do well with it. Gentleman Racing still out. Ace Boy in third. We don't think he's pitted, considering the condition of his tires. Looks like Moby, Penguin, Lead. Looks like all these other cars have pitted. So Tim Lore in the 39s and 41s running good laps and gentlemen racing in the 43s and 42s. So 
highly unlikely that gentleman racing is going to hold on to the second place uh, by trying to do the the overcut. So looks like he's going to come in on this lap. He's probably going to lose significant time to Tim Lohr. We don't think he'll lose third position, but he's, he's oh, and he stays out again. Uh, fully committed to this overcut. It may be that he's hoping to be able to catch Tim Lohr. Banking out, coming out in third and hoping to catch Tim Lohr with a lower fuel, lighter car, and new tires. But as we saw at Red Bull Ring, Gentleman Racing doesn't tend to do too well when he get, gets brand new cold tires. And I can say that because it's yours truly that's Gentleman Racing. Uh, yeah, that's me out there. Struggling with tires. Ace Boy giving Tim Lore lots of room. Now let's see, we're thinking Gentleman Race is going to have to come in. Um, this go around here. Tim Lore looks to have kept a significantly better pace than Gentleman Racing. And now... Now, Gentleman Racing may fall into the clutches of Ace Boy. Ace Boy puts a nice tight lap in here. He may be able to uh, reel in Gentleman Racing on pit stops. Oh, we got the leader in. The leader's in the pits. And, and here comes... Yeah, in and out, holds on to the lead. Leading every lap. Turbo. Ooh, got Gentleman Racing in the lead. That's an oddball situation anomaly of the pitting procedure here. Oh, an ace boy pits. So that's going to leave gentlemen racing clear. And look at the distance. We hadn't even considered that, but it looked like it looks like Gentleman Racing was able to come out ahead of 4th and 5th, which was Moby and Desert Penguin, who are still battling for that 4th position. Um, Desert Penguin coming out in 5th. No. No. Desert Penguin in 5th, sorry. Ace Boy coming out 6th. Ooh, lost, lost a lot of time running late. Surprising. Surprising that he lost that much time. Led the iron in seventh. Eighth, we've got Whitey. Mo Power in ninth now with a uh, fully repaired car. But you would have to think that just the rhythm uh, after driving a damaged car for 14 laps, now you got to reacclimate yourself to a car that's working correctly. Which can't, you know, it's not always easy. A Desert Penguin in his debut giving uh, Moby a former race winner. That's right. Moby uh, with a win at Blue Moon Bay Infield A, I believe it was. Desert Penguin up on him. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Clearing the throat. That's some rude. Side by side. Down into turn one. Ooh. Obi. Obi using some strategery, trying to throw uh, Desert Penguin the dummy. Dummy move. Fainting like he was going to go inside.
Ace boy with lead. The resurgent lead. He was down in ninth, tenth, but here he is, utilizing a good strategy with the Cayman. That's very good on fuel and tires to haul himself up onto Ace Boy. Mole Power getting by Whitey. Whitey back in ninth. Here it is. It's going to ride the Mopower slipstream. That Mustang punches a huge hole in the air. Corvette should be able to draw much closer. Back up to Fourth Desert with a penalty. Perhaps looking in the mirror a little bit too much at Moby. Admiring that Cayman. Let's go on board with Moby. Whoa, wrestling the wheel there. Tires onto the grass. Slipstream effect is uh, set on real in these lobbies. That gentleman racing up in the distance, in third. Looks like Ace Boy, ooh, man. just as he gets a penalty. Looks like Ace Boy has opened a gap up to lead a little bit. And he's looking to real Moby and Desert Penguin in to reclaim his uh, original. Well, not original, because he, uh, yeah, no, I think he, uh, I think Penguin started, uh, did he start fourth? by Desert Penguin. Runs his best sector. Ooh, cuts off Desert Penguin's nose. And truly, Moby was on the correct line there. Desert 
thought about the move. Uh, ultimately, thought better of it. Ooh, a little flash of the lights there by uh, Penguin. Be interesting to know what the what the thought there with the flashing lights was. We have a little rivalry brewing here. Suzuka will be interesting, to say the least. Oh, and Moby gets up on the uh, AstroTurf. That stuff can be slippery, but he keeps it together. Let's go on board with Desert Penguin. Let's take a look in the rear view. Yeah, Ace Boy is still back there, but he's reeling in. <coughs> on the inside alongside too wide into turn one they give each other room who's gonna have the run out of here oh and the the Genesis showing that torque that v6 torque versus the Cayman I don't know if this is the Cayman that's a boxer six or a four cylinder I don't I'm not sure but interesting to see him just draw away from Moby there. And there's Ace. It's made up uh, a ton of time. He's caught this group. Led's back in seventh with a little gap. And he's got Mo Power in hot pursuit. What an intrigue. Uh, amazing battle here in this fourth through really fourth through ninth uh, at one point they were they were all very close together it's down to these three drivers going with five laps left Moby carries all the momentum there who will get this fourth position in the end look at them And Ace Boy picking up the double draft. I'm not sure. Three wide. Three wide. Moby goes back to the outside. Amazing. Amazing. Desert Penguin and his debut race in the IRS GT4 Championship and he's up there battling for fourth driving really nicely uh, other than a little argy bargy here and there between these four or five drivers a super super clean race the kind of stuff you only dream about in sport mode well let's face it it happens in sport mode as well there's some good driving to be had. I don't want to. I don't want to malign sport mode. Uh, every once in a while, you get a driver who succumbs to the red mist. But oh, when Penguin gets a half-second penalty, that could be huge at the finish if they stay this tight and he doesn't burn that off. It could be the difference between fourth and sixth for him. And here comes Ace. Ace has got the bit between his teeth. Penguin doesn't go defensive soon enough, although it has to be said, Ace uh, dove to the inside almost immediately. Amazing. But takes the traditional line. Oh, and the other two are side by side. Ace Boy shedding a little bit of pen. Oh, and Moby gets shuffled out into the Astro Turf. Doesn't lose too much time. Will Penguin take the inside here? No, he backs out, but Ace Boy runs wide. Trying to carry as much speed as possible to stay ahead of Penguin. Will he get a penalty there? No, doesn't get a penalty. Oof, 
Penguin ran a little deep there. Perhaps uh, losing some perspective. Very nearly a collision. Almost a commentator's curse there, but still. Regroups. Still carrying three tenths. Ace Boy Kang a tenth. And Moby with nothing. Maybe he's just sitting back here looking to make a, a final lunge for these guys or hoping that they get into some engagement of some fisticuffs. Oh, and then it looks like they've gotten close to Gentleman Racing. Gentleman Racing running in the f high 42s, got a low 42 last lap. And these guys in the 41s. And uh, Gentleman Racing should probably be very thankful that they were battling one another because they, you know, Ace Play had a chance to, to catch and maybe get another another podium finish this series. Certainly ran some strong laps there. 21, laps 21, 22, 23, all in the 141s. While Gentleman Racing was in the 43s, high 42s. So, yeah, it was doable. But... Gentleman Racing just kind of kept it cool and let those guys in battle one another. Fourth. So let's run through the order. We're co coming to the near the end of the race. It's just going so quickly with all the action. Up front, we've got Turbo. We don't think he's relinquished the lead at all. This race, Tim Lore, second. A ways back. Gentleman Racing in third. Ace Boy, fourth. Fifth, Desert Penguin. Sixth, Moby. Seventh, Mo Power with a, a decent recovery run, although he runs wide there. Probably going to pick up a penalty. Let's see. Pick one up. No. But he's kind of falling into the clutches, maybe a little bit of lead the iron. Let's gotta get carry a lot of speed into that front straight. Ninth, Whitey. Was in the mix for a while, but again, when you got equipment issues, it's tough. Tough to be consistent. So we'll be looking for him to be uh, be mixing it up again and put on a stronger performance when we get to Suzuka. Race fan. Leading in the uh, Pro Amps in 10th, Kanita in 11th, Willow 12th. Kanita, as we mentioned earlier, is leader, points leader in the Pro Am division. Uh, Willow is in second in the Pro Am division. And interestingly enough, race fan is in third, so that's kind of somewhat uh, inverted. Race fan making the most of his uh, race here, so he's gonna close the ga gap a little bit amongst the pro ams to uh, Willow and Kanita, but uh, we don't know if it's gonna be enough for uh, by the conclusion of the uh, the season. So after today, it will be only two races left. And it must be said, race fan missed uh, uh, quite a few races. So had he been able to run most of the season, he'd probably be right up there mixing it up with both Kanita and Willow. Um, so, yeah, hopefully race fan can uh, find a way to make it to some more races in season three when he joins us. We'll be running uh, the series in the same time slot Monday nights. So... Do everything you can, race fan. Turbo on the final lap. About halfway through the final lap. Let's go on board. Why not? Plenty of fuel. Tires are decent. You can see no one in the rear view. It's a dominant performance today by Turbo. 
Uh, we didn't get a lot of looks at Turbo. He just did what he was, normally does and put in a strong performance. But the it has to be said, the action was all in that fourth through ninth area. And the checkered flag. Three races in a row. We believe he's got the hat trick, if not the Grand Slam this week. Tim Lohr. The firm hold on second place. Tim Lohr, the championship leader. Um, Turbo came into the series late. He's gobbling up all the points, but not gonna. we don't know if it'll be enough to win the championship. Gentlemen Racing in third. Ace Boy regains fourth. Desert Penguin, a strong showing on his first race. Fifth. Sixth, Mo Power. Seventh, Moby. Was that, was that a fuel issue? Eighth, Lead the Iron. Ninth, Whitey. Tenth race fan. Eleventh Kanita, and it looks like Willow's going to be twelfth. Thank you for joining us.